Um, hello, my name is Iman. I represent Ralston High School. Um, uh, I'm in 11th grade and my poem is called A Captain and a Crew. My mind is on a ship far from land, a ship full of promise and enough to get by. The captain says over and over, we have to keep going. If we want to find land, the land that has that gold we're looking for, remember? The gold which you all have said you wanted for your whole lives. The crew enthusiastically remembers what they had talked about wanting. They worked day and night to reach that land, the land that has that gold they were looking for, the gold they had said they had wanted their whole lives. The captain has a map to try and help the crew find their gold. But after a while, rumor spreads that he lost the map, and his only hope is his crew. After many days, the crew is getting tired of this false hope of their captain, of working tirelessly and sometimes seemingly, seemingly pointlessly. But the captain keeps space, keeps saying over and over, we have to keep going. If we want to find land, the land that has that gold you were looking for, the gold which you all have said you wanted for your whole lives. And the crew is tired, and their food supply is starting to be worrisome. But they keep the ache, keep going, and rumors keep spreading about the captain, about how maybe he doesn't believe in his own words either. And now, weeks later, the crew is even more tired, and the food supply should not even be mentioned, and the ache is bigger and painful to swallow. Crew members are collapsing, and rumors are at their strongest about how the captain maybe, probably, doesn't is lying about how close land is, or maybe lying about there being any gold at all. Or maybe he just wants it for himself, leave the crew for dead on the ship made of now brittle wood and rusting steel. The crew is getting tired, and this, is the gold really worth all of this? All the storms and the scurvy and the thirst? And by now, airplanes have been invented, and, mo and motorboats speed past this creaky ship, sometimes stopping. But this captain, this goddamn captain says, we don't need a motor, we're doing fine as it is, he says. Another body collapses behind him because there is no easy route to get to this land of gold. We'll get that gold if we die trying, in which case we won't get any gold because gold can't be gotten while dead, which is what the crew tries to tell the captain. But oh, what tragedy, says the captain, when there's no food or water left and the crew is quickly disappearing as well. Oh, what tragedy that we don't have that gold. What a preventable tragedy, says the last crew member dropped on their knees so tragic how we really could have succeeded if we had maybe not lost the map or rationed our food and water or just bought that motor or just gotten off when we had the chance and now the crumbling ship floats lifeless. Not even a captain to say, we have to keep going. If we want to find land, the land that has that gold we're looking for, remember the gold which I have said I wanted for my whole life and the ship once so full of promise and enough to get by is now at the bottom of the ocean with that dream of gold.